the land, the land was 2,000 acres, which took, took, quite a bit, took quite a bit of getting around, you know, because there was 800 breeding yards on it, and all the five different hefts plus one, what we call the bottom slime, it was a it was a different heft altogether. But it took you took you from starting time in the mornings. You did part of the hill up till breakfast time. Breakfast time would be half past eight, nine o'clock, starting at six. Mm -hmm. And you would come home for the breakfast, and then you would have your breakfast and then you would do the bottom end hill between then and dinner time. And then after after that time, you would uh, in the afternoon, you would do your farm maintenance, or you would sit the garden if if it, if it's gardening time, you do do the gardening, and do all the farm maintenance as required, whatever was to be done. The uh, the horse arrived duly, and one could get ruined a lot quicker on the horse, but you had the horse, the horses. The horse was in, the, in the, a little paddock beside the, beside the house and you went to the stable and you uh, saddled up your horse, bridle, the saddle and uh, away you went. You went to the kennel and got your dogs, you take three or four dogs and the pony, the pony was 14 hands, 14, 14 two, no bigger, strong horse quite big feet because it's soft ground a horse with little feet would cut in through the peat a horse with bigger feet you would stay on the top and it didn't sink in and it was a great benefit the horse in winter time I liked the horse because another thing in the storm conditions on the on the on the Utbai hill you could track you should make a track with the with the horse and the sheep would follow the track. Whereas if you had to make a track by walking, it was hard work. Mm. Plus the fact on a stormy day on a horse, I've, been, I've not had a white hoot for 10 minutes in the afternoon. And you would get off the horse, and you would shelter behind the horse until the storm was past. You know? And the horse was quite tricky in a way, because when he when he stopped the horse, he always turned his backside to the wind. He never faced the wind. He turned his backside to the wind, and you get you get snuggled in beside the shoulder of the horse, and cuddled down until the storm was blasted. Mm -hmm. It was past, you see. And uh, you know, winter time, your hands got cold. The rains, you know, mm -hmm. it was hardly, and you could slide your hands below the saddle and get your hands warmed on the horse. Put new life into you. You know? Yeah. Whereas a cord, you've got cold handlebars. And it was a it was a way of life. Mm -hmm. You know, when you come home come home from the fell, you made sure your horse had his oats, a dry lie. And a good bed for the night, because you needed him next morning. The horse did a lot for you. You you treat the horse well, and the horse will treat you well.